What's up, this is Caesar from the Zoom team at Microsoft, and I'm here with an artist that I really much like. It's, uh, it's Morgan Page, who's a DJ, producer, uh, remixer, extraordinaire. What's up, Morgan? What's going on? Good to be in Seattle here. Hey, thank you, thank you. So you're, you're in Seattle, you're here for a show. Um, tell folks about you know, what you think of the Seattle scene. I know you were just here in September, so it seems like, it seemed like there's a lot of good energy here. So. Yeah, yeah, we were here for the Delirium tour, so it was Elzian and Sarah Finn, myself, and Delirium playing at the uh, Showbox. So. Cool, yeah, that's a great venue. So it's great, and I've, I always hear a lot from Seattle fans, and uh, it's good to be part of this uh, playing here and coming here a little more often. So That's cool, yeah. that's cool. So tell folks about what's going on tonight. There's a show called Freak Night, and it's mm -hmm. got... Some really amazing, amazing names. You know, Paul Van Dyke, Moby. Just you know, it's the cream of the crop of dance music. It is, yeah. yeah. It's it's an amazing lineup. So I mean, that's got to be pretty massive. Yeah, and it was, I was just over doing sound check, and it was pretty amazing. And uh, it's cool. pretty massive space. I think it holds seven thousand people. That's gonna capacity. Be awesome. So uh, lots of good uh, big names in the electronic world, and uh, looking forward to playing those guys. So I play, and then Crystal Method goes, and that's Moby and Paul Van Dyke. That's awesome. <laughs> that's so cool. Um, so t so. I know that you had a record that came out here a little bit ago. It's called Elevate. I'm hoping you can tell folks of what it's about. I know yeah. it's got a couple of remixes, a couple of original stuff. Just yeah, it was kind of a hybrid. It was um, eight remixes and four originals. Right. And we had a couple of singles, uh, The Longest Road, and which we had remixes done for, and also Call My Name, cool. which is the current single. Right, right. Yeah. And so Call My Name, I mean, that's, that's like a track that... I think I think a lot of people kind of fell in love, or myself included, fell in love with you because of Longest Road, because that was kind of one of the first singles off the record. But now yeah. this this Call My Name track is, is kind of the one that's up right now. Yeah, it's another. I you know really uh, had a lot of fun writing those tracks and uh, you know working on the next album as well, getting twelve originals for the next one. But this oh, four nice. doing four was enough for this album. And, uh, yeah, you know we really wanted to show a nice range of styles and. Uh, they were just two fun tracks that uh, you know wanted to work on. So, and a lot of these performers, I went and saw them at um, kind of go scout for vocalists and things at uh, the venues and at this place called Hotel Cafe. So both of those singers I saw at Hotel Cafe play. Right, and then you, you approach them and you're like, look, yeah, yeah, and they and the they would imagine. Right down, That's right. awesome. Yeah. And so, what was it like? I know that there's there's a bunch of really awesome remixes like Nelly Furtado, a bunch of cool artists that you had on there. What was the process like working with those artists and and kind of getting getting their music and getting it to remix. Well, you know, I think they commission, they get, you know, a bunch of people do the remix. You don't get to interact directly with them. Right. Um, you know, and sometimes you don't get all the parts that you want from the remixes. Like, I know Timbaland is very yeah. secretive about his stuff. He won't give you all his standards, his session parts. But, um, no, I think you deal mainly with the label, but um, some artists are a little more hands-on. Madonna has to personally listen to everything. Um, cool. So we just had a mix for her. That yeah, yeah, and, you just had a, yeah. Yeah, I mean, congratulations. Thanks. I mean, that's, that's going to be... That's yeah. massive, I think. That's for Miles Away, the next single. Right. And um, I did a mix for uh, Stevie Nicks, and she yeah. had denied, I think, four mixes before that came out. <laughs> so I was all nervous about it. And then um, she was another one who was very picky about being very hands on about the music. Right. And she had to personally prove it, and that went through. So Cool. Um, so it's fun. It's great when you can kind of give new life to a song. And yeah. that's, that's always my goal with doing a remix. Yeah, for sure. And so uh, right now you're doing a live set. I've just. Talk a little bit about your live set. I mean, is it is it a straight DJ set? Is there production happening on stage? I mean, what's that? What's it's, that like? It's kind of a hybrid. Uh, I bring a Alan Heat Zone Three D, which is a it's a mixer, a DJ mixer that has analog parts to it. So it has filters and things. So it's like a hardware DJ mixer with with MIDI functions on it. So I can cool. control stuff in the computer. Right. So I use Ableton Live with this Zone Three D controller. So uh, it's nice because you can kind of um, be controlling everything and twisting all these knobs simultaneously that you couldn't just do with a click of a mouse. Right. And you also can focus more on the crowd and less on the computer screen. That's which that's is key. that's always nice. Yeah. You know, just get the yeah for sure. And the crowd, you know, people all tell me they're like well, we want more eye contact. You know, they're even feedback <laughs> show, so uh, that's always something I'm working on. And, uh, hey, very cool. And that's always it's been a really fun evolution after doing radio for so long, uh, where you don't get to see your audience. Right. Your audience will call you up on the phone and tell you they like the show, but. It's great to see people and just see the reaction on the dance floor. Yeah, it's sure. gratification for sure. Well, I'm, I'm personally, I know the show's going to be awesome, so I'm yeah. personally excited about. It. One last thing I want to ask you, you know, Zoom is about, in a lot of ways, helping people discover new music. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to get your perspective as an artist, as somebody who's working with a lot of the top names in the industry. How do you find music, and how do you, what inspires you, and how do you just connect with new artists and find find music to listen to? 
I mean, some people send me stuff directly and reach out, but usually it's through, um, just because there's music out there, it's yeah. through friends and yeah. it's through recommendation engines. I think all that stuff is really key because there's a lot to sort through and it, it, it takes too long. You know, there's not enough hours in the day to know what is good and what is bad. So I really depend on people recommending stuff to me. Um, and, you know, I take time uh, to go to sites like Beatport and things to find uh, downloads online. Cool. Uh, and, you know, I think that's key, and especially radio. You know, I think radio is a big area. For sure. I'm always tuning into stations just to hear what's what they're playing, because I can't do it alone. I need, uh, I need to hear a recognition from other taste makers. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's really cool. I, I just, I, I'm really excited that you're, uh, that you're here in town. I'm really excited to see the show. And, yeah. Just want to say thanks for uh, thanks for coming yeah, and talk to us, man. All right.